Welcome to a bonanza of uh, big films, big ticket films. It's a paradox that uh, the film that was least expected to make the splash is making the big news. It's gone into the 300 crore club as I talk. Kadar Ekrem Katharis, watch V2. Alongside that were three other movies that released, OMG2. There was Bola Shantar, a Chiran TV star, and of course, the Rajini star, Jela. It's interesting that Jela is a profit making film. What does it indicate? It indicates that Rajini Khan is still an attraction, but the drama, the, the magnificence of the man of the persona is weak. Ask me and I'll say that's good for cinema. Any actor who grows larger than cinema is not good for their art. And today, millions of his fans would be thrilled to know that he's there, he's acting, Gaga. The very ambience of watching him in a Tamil Nadu theatre is wholly different. But they must come to terms with the fact that age conquers. It conquered Voltaire, so it will conquer Rajinika. Come to Jela. It's again an instant celebration of violence beyond control. There's a scene, for instance, in the film where the jailer, played by Rajini Kant is Muttu Bail Tiger Pandi. Chops the head of a man and the head is lying there. Remember, there is said to have been a scene in Shore where Master Alankar's hands are being amputated and he had huge problems with the senses. I think today it's a coming of age for all of us. The senses is asleep and we've come to celebrate violence a lot in larger dollops than we did in the past. This film is an unapologetic cinema dealing with violence. There are scenes where somebody is shot, blood splashes on people's faces. Uh, Ramya Krishna's face, for example, when she's sitting at the dining table. And uh, Shweta, played by uh, Mirna Menon. These scenes are so terrible that you wonder if you're paid to sit and watch all this yes there is an audience for this but is that the audience at which you will make your money from is it not time that responsible film actors stood up and said no please don't make me a part of a vehicle that celebrates violence like this yes my stardom is at stake but i've made enough and more and if anybody wants to make a better film with me, please come. But I am not going to endorse cinema of this time. It's time responsible actors like Rajni, Kamal, Chiranjeevi, take it up. They've made their money, they've got a lot from what the industry could offer. I don't think any one of them started thinking this is the kind of folklore people they're going to be. And I'm not blaming just Rajni. Kamal's Vikram was just as bad. There is just so much of stylized violence in these movies. We have in this movie the main villain, uh, Varman, played by Vinayakam, well played, but his kept his complete set of his team of unkept men, the fights, is absolutely no stupid going on. It's about a gang that is uh, smuggling items. There's a police officer, Vasant Ravi. Is, uh, Vasant Ravi playing uh, Arjun, son of uh, Muttavayal Tiger Pandyan, now in the evening of his life, retired. He's kidnapped and believed to be dead. From here begins our jailer's story of finding out the son or avenging the death of the son. You have 
amazing uh, stars across the board coming. You have Mohan Lal, you have um, Shivaraj Kumar, you have Jackie Shroff, reflecting three big cinema industries. Very strangely, uh, you don't get anybody from Bengal into this world. But the mainstream is here, Canada, Malayalam from South, and of course, Bollywood. Do they add value to the film? Of course they do. Yes, sure Raj Kumar seems to be the second most happening of all of them. Mohan Lal and uh, Jackie Shroff disappoint their caricatures. Nobody in the film, nobody in the film is worth talking about. Jailer is yet another flaw of uh, story of violence or vendetta of a bad guy versus good guy and how the good guy is going to find a win. Sometimes you seriously begin to believe that if this is the price that one has to pay for being good, you might as well be bad. Because the final moment of victory is so transient in compared to the long drawn victory of evil. Jela is time. It's a signal that we need to sit up and say, can we please do away with this celebration of violence? I'll sign off with this. I'm sure most of you have seen the movie. Do come back and tell me what you think about the movie and, the and my record in particular. I'll acknowledge Dhatu and Aminam and sign off for the day. Bye-bye.